In 1943, it was one of our strategic aims to draw as many German forces as possible away from the Russian front and French coastal areas and to contain them on the Italian peninsula while liberating as much of Italy as might be possible with the means at our disposal. The Allies had elected to make an invasion in the area of Natuno and Anzio and try and cut off the enemy retreat coming up from Italy towards Rome. It didn't work. The enemy had several regiments up around Florence in Italy, which was north of Rome. They trapped the Allied force on the beach end, and they couldn't fight their way out. They needed help on the Anzio beachhead. The first special service force had been called in by the army commanders to replace a group of uh, regiments which, been had, which had been decimated by the enemy. The Germans, I guess their thought was to drive the Americans into the ocean, but they always had very tough resistance. We stayed there for 99 days and we fought the Germans back. 99 days living on the ground is quite an experience. I believe the front was about 22 miles from one end to the other. And uh, the force was responsible uh, roughly for a third of that distance. So we were very thinly uh, spread throughout, yet we carried a big heavy load there. There was more action, I believe, in our quadrant or our area than the other divisions. During the day at the Anzio Beachhead, you you had to stay out of sight because the uh, Germans had the high ground and they could detect any movement below and many times they would uh, call for fire, uh, artillery fire on those targets that they would see. No, mind you, they did some damage. They had a lot of guns, <laughs> big guns. Then they had a big gun that was mounted on railroad, which they, they would bring it out, use it, and then they would put the uh, big artillery piece back into a cave to protect it from airplane bombings. And that's where the name Anzio Andy come from. I have been told it could only fire five or six rounds a day because the heat of the gun firing was so great that it had to cool down before it could fire again. They would target the uh, farmhouses because they knew that that's where we were taking cover during the day. And the company headquarters was located in a farmhouse. And I guess the enemy thought that wasn't a very nice place for their enemy to be in, so they, they blew it up, knocked us out of it. I have been told I was one of the last people coming out, and they came out in the ball of fire and jumped out the window. Some of my buddies that uh, were in one of their farmhouses where I had been staying, I was transferred to another one and the, they took our places there and that following day they put a lot of artillery in that house and it killed several of the uh, men that were inside. Had I been in that room or that sleeping there that day, uh, who knows? <laughs> What could have happened now? That weapon is now in America, fully recovered, fully rebuilt, and it is huge. It's a railway cannon, and it was huge. Gave us a bad time. My experience here was uh, hectic many times. Uh, during my uh, service here, I was inland about a mile and a half off the, the beach area. 
the uh, sector that we were responsible started along the edge of the water. Uh, that was to protect the uh, flanks in case Germans would get in the water and come behind the, our lines. And I uh, concentrated more inland than uh, around the, the end, this end of the perimeter of the uh, front line. During the day, we would come off the uh, front line area to uh, uh, get some sleep because we were on duty uh, all night long. With blackened faces, it was their nighttime raids at Anzio that earned the first special service force the nickname the Black Devils, given to them by the enemy. In the mountains, it had been primarily their conditioning that led to victory. At Anzio, in the dark, it was their stealth and lethal hand-to-hand -hand killing ability that struck fear in the enemy. It was at Anzio where Colonel Frederick created the stickers that said, in German, the worst is yet to come and the Black Devils would stick them on the helmets of their slain enemy to be found the next morning by their comrades. Their tactics and kill rate were so effective that the Germans vastly overestimated their numbers and pulled back their lines, and Hitler ordered that none of the Allied commandos be captured, only killed. After 99 days, it was time for the breakout and push to liberate Rome.